And welcome back for the grand final of Sforza. Viva Sforza! Milan was prepared for the siege. Bronze cannons lined the walls and a vast militia was trained. Even the hoarding merchants sold their possessions to arm the mercenaries of the Piccinino brothers. Milan sent emissaries to convince the Duke of Savoy that Sforza would threaten all of Italy. Thousands of Savoyard troops marched against Sforza. But battles are not only won on the field with men and horses. They can also be won in a dark tent over a barrel of wine. In one such tent, Sforza met with Malatesta, now commander of the Venetian troops. Malatesta listened as Sforza ranted furiously of Milan's treachery. He knew that Sforza was not angry that the Republic had betrayed him, as much as that it had done so before Sforza could betray the Republic. But Sforza offered an opportunity for Malatesta and his Venetian employers. While Sforza hurled his men and his riches against Milan's walls, the Venetians would be free to conquer the rest of Northern Italy. Malatesta agreed to help Sforza, but as always, alliance and treachery between Condottieri were only opposite sides of the same coin. An ally betraying us? Who would have thunk? All right. Destroy... Milan's castle and build a new castle over the ruins. Defeat Milan and defeat the Savoyards. A pop limit of 200. If you're rich in resources but so are your enemies, build your defenses quickly or you will be overrun. Milan relies on economy outside of the city walls. If this is disrupted, the unit production in the city will grind to a halt. Males Malatesta is a condottiero like Sforza. He does nothing for free, but if you do as he asks, he will be a powerful ally. Building your own castle over the ruins of Milan will give you control of the surviving buildings of the city. Uh, the garrison and any remaining forces outside the city will continue to resist you. Uh, Sforza is camped in the Roman ruins near Milan, the city both of his desire and vengeance. He is aided by old friend Mal uh, his old friend Malatesta, who commands a Venetian force. The Milanese are led by the Piccinino brothers, responsible for robbing Sforza of Brescia. They have sworn to defeat Sforza in memory of their dead father and will train a diverse army to counter Sforza's tactics. Milan's dense defenses, dense defenses are supported by farms and mines outside the city walls. The Savoyards wish to dominate Milan, but will need to defeat Sforza first. They have just arrived in the region, but will build quickly. They are known for their powerful paladins and abundant castles and towers. Yeah, the Franks, duh. All right, this one, guys, we're going to need to get hit the ground running. Look, brother, it is Sforza, the little dog that thinks he will be duped. Let us see how the dog runs when he hears our cannons boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, like this starts like a DM game. They prattle like women, Francesco, but their swords are sharper than their tongues. Here is a token about French. Fail. Here's some towers and walls. Anyway, what we're going to do is, you can see that we're focusing on stables, even more so than getting our town centers up and rolling, because we're going to take out the Savoyards as quickly as possible before they become a big threat. And uh, now we can get our eco running behind this. Anyway, um, Malatesta is going to betray you as soon as you defeat the Savoyards, but I don't know if he can betray you sooner or something. I never got Cavalier. I am a dum dum. Anyway, like DM, you gotta go hit quick and hard and take out their villagers as fast as you can. Or at least try to. Let's 
especially beneficial would be if you can take out villagers who are trying to build castles and stuff. Just trying to distract them. Yeah, we don't have as many resources as a DM match, but we're still pretty well set up for the short run. Anyway, we should just be able to completely swamp our opponent with better production. Even though our start wasn't exactly uh, mind-bogglingly good. Just like DM, it's all about trying to snowball early villager kills. Because, you know, they start with much the same as you. Hey. Oh, yep, they've already got fully upgraded paladins. Like I said, Melotesto is going to betray us as soon as we defeat the Savoyards, but I don't know. The towers at least will give us some presence in his city or something, I don't know. Anyway, it seems like we should be pretty much overrunning them. And we are an Imperial Age, obviously, which is nice. Nope. Yeah, my start wasn't even all that great, and we're still clapping them. Yeah, they're already gone. Did you think that I would wait to let you betray me? I cannot let the fox make off with all the hairs. It is not personal, my friend. Strictly business. Well, like I said, the towers will at least give us some sort of, <laughs> uh, you know, staging ground or something. We will soon avenge our father, brother. You would be so proud of us. Man, those guys are loud and annoying, just like their father. Anyway. That's what you get for betraying me. I think they resign as soon as you take out their castle. We're just going to need to get our eco up behind this because the Milanese still have plenty of stuff with which to attack us. They essentially have two big economic areas to the uh, far east of the map and far south of the map. Okie dokie, I'm pretty sure they resign. Now we raid. Uh, I'm 
Definitely remember killing you, like, a minute and a half ago. Sorry. But yeah, same premise. I'm gonna just try and raid them like crazy. Oh, there's Relic right there. Forgot about that one. Back to raiding. What are the tower upgrades like? Uh, everything except keep and arrow slits, which, to be fair, is still pretty good. And it looks like a lot of their army was sent to the north to deal with our guys there, so that means our guys here should be able to get something useful done. Even though Italians don't have the best cavalry in the world, um, you still have fully upgraded cavaliers and hussars, so it's certainly not that bad. Even compared to, like, Portuguese, they don't have the gold discount, but they do have Hussar. Don't worry, I'll build another mill. Oh, crap, we started with the blacksmith. I'm an idiot. Anyway, I like raiding. Like, the scenarios where you can raid your opponent, like the Jerusalem one. Kind of same, similar premise. And we're getting a pretty solid boom behind this. Let's try and get a few more Cavalier out. more kills. You can see this map has plenty of resources, especially the, now that we can uh, freely take from the Savoyards because uh, they won't need them anymore. I don't remember about any other relics, to be honest. There may be, or may not be, I don't know. Nico's looking okay. Once we do a number on Milan, uh, at least their eco, then we're going to focus a bit more on archers to for the big slow push to take the city. Get some bombard towers, ideally. Just get a few more Cavalier. We have Sforza here again. I don't really know why. Just seems kind of random. I guess I could sell... Oh, the stone price isn't even good. See if we can get a little more rating done. Uh, I guess you have to go over here. Oh, there's a couple condos mixed in there. No wonder it's going slowly.
Uh, you guys can take down this tower so I can mine. Oh. Or you guys can do something a bit more useful than attacking a tower. You can tell that with my blistering APM, I make a top-tier uh, DM player not... Anywho, while all this raiding is going on, let's see if we can sneak a, a forward castle in. Well, Swartzo will at least be good against the Pikeman. Even if he's not going to be a, an especially useful unit overall. Or hero. Our eco's pretty good at this point. You can see that if you do a good job raiding, the scenario isn't even all that long. Oh, there is another relic right there. Stone... I mean, I already have a ton. Might as well just bring them all over here. Oh, Heater, you just wouldn't let me go, could you? I think this can be counted as preparing ye old war machine. They still don't have full upgrades yet. Deal with it! Maybe you should have gotten good. Yeah, that was my first castle. Didn't even realize it. I can send any remaining cavalier down that way. While we prepare our assault of the city. Oh, that tower still exists. Let's go with no. Lots of arbs. No. Live. Well, that was a uh, that was an unsuccessful attempt. Thankfully, they should be somewhat low in resources. Yeah, like just pikemen and condos. I scoff at thee. Sorry. Oh, 
but yeah, I mean, Milan still has plenty of defenses, so you have to be careful. Let's send all these Cavalier down that way. Just in case they're trying to get their economies back up and rolling. I mean, I'm sure they're trying, but uh, the idea is to not let them. Cristo. Sprigati. Gotta love just the random Italian words thrown in there for good measure. Oh yeah, I need to build a castle. Now that is a full, you know, fully upgraded castle as far as defenses go. And we're also going to need to destroy all these towers. But we can just use these seven bills to build the castle. Oh, it's that weird thing, like, when you destroy the gate, but only half of it, like, the middle bit goes down. It's weird. Happens sometimes. So I don't know if you need to have it, like, in the exact same spot, but just to be safe, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you're allowed to destroy the wonder or not, but, you know. Whenever there's a wonder or a cathedral involved, I'll tend to not destroy it unless specifically ordered to do so. there. And we now have Milan. Oh, and that was it. That was abrupt. But yeah, that one was uh, short and sweet. But it was it was like a DM one, kind of like a Attila 5. So we had to get going. Oh, there's another relic over here, it seems. So a third relic. Here's Milan. Or what's left of it. Outro. Hunger and disease spread in the besieged city. The soldiers left the walls and turned their weapons inward to the cloistered professors and lawyers who had promised them liberty, but at a great cost. Is it better to be feared or loved? In that moment, Sforza was both. Milan opened her gates, and Sforza lavished the people with all of the grain their own grain that he had taken during the siege. The grateful, if foolish, people crowned Sforza, that treacherous, conniving, selfish bastard, Duke of Milan. It was not his final triumph, but it was his grandest. That is the story of Sforza, from one who fought with him and against him. Do I wish ill upon him? No more than I would wish ill on the fox who raids the hen house in the black of night. It does only what a fox does and cannot be blamed for it. I do not blame Sforza any more than I would blame myself. After all, Sforza's blood is in me, for I am his cousin, Micheletto. Sforza is like Oh, me. what a shocker! We are condottieri. We are the contract men. Of Italy. K 
KD. Still broken as always, but uh, here are the rest of the stats. Only got to 25 bills, damn. Anyway guys, that will be Sforza. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure that next up is Dracula. And that'll be our final Forgotten campaign. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.